In the previous tutorials, I spoke about uh, materials and how we can apply different material to the same wall, and also how we can change the materials for the uh, floorings for uh, each space. In this tutorial, I would like to talk about how we can make a custom material and add it to the ArchiCAD library. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorials. If you practice what I spoke about in my tutorials, you would know how uh, you can work with the existing materials on the ArchiCAD library. So, for example, when I select this slab as a floor, I can come to the surface and apply uh, a specific material that uh, we have in the library. But what if we want to add something new or we want to have a different uh, type or color of floorings, for instance? To answer this question, like the other options that we had for the lines, pen and colors and fields, also for the surfaces, we could edit or modify the existing elements in the library of ARCHICAD or we could create a new one. Both these uh, options, we should do it on the surfaces, on the element attributes. So I'm going to click on the surfaces. And then here we have the list of all the materials that ARCHICAD provide us. For instance, if I uh, click on the brick red, we can change some specifications uh, for uh, this material. And as you see, this material uses a texture. So from the top, uh, we can create a new material uh, by clicking on the new. Uh, we can rename the existing material or we can uh, delete any materials uh, that, for example, we make it and we don't like it, so we can delete the materials. For the engines, this is the rendering engine of the existing material. And you see the material here with the basic engine. Also, you can try with uh, these two types of engines here and this one. Uh, this um, Sinware and uh, Redshift by Maxon uh, seems to have uh, more natural renders. But for now, I want to talk about the basic engine. Then we can select the basic color of the material. And for the transparency, we have some options to work with. Also, we can apply the light emission to the material that we are making. On the reflection, we could uh, select the ambient light, uh, the diffuse, and the shyness for the reflections. Since we are working on the brick, we don't have any shininess uh, for the material. Therefore, we don't have any specular, and I'm going to uh, explain all of these in a few minutes with an example. Then we could set a kind of cover fill for the materials that when we are applying this material to any objects, we can see this uh, cover fill on the plan or on the sections. Also, if we make a new uh, material with a special kind of pattern, we could make a pattern and uh, apply it here. On the previous tutorial, I made this fill with MT pattern, which represents the math tutorials. Uh, and if you would like to know how did I make this fill, click right up here on the card and watch that video. If it was informative for you, don't forget to hit the like button on that video. The next tab that we have is the texture. Fortunately, ARCHICAD led us to import textures and pictures to make new materials as we wish. Then we could set different dimensions for the texture that we are importing. We could set a rotation and we could set how we want to see the reputation or as it says, the distribution of the texture. So let's start with an example. I would like to make a wooden floor. So I'm going to select a wood material. Then I'm going to click on the new. Here I'm going to duplicate the existing material, which is wood. Then I'm going to type in the name of the material that I want to make. So I usually add 
a Z at the beginning of the name. So on the list, I would know that the material that I make is at the bottom of the list so I can find it much easier. Then I'm going to write wooden floor MT as math tutorials and 01. So if I want to make more wooden floors, I'm going to change this number instead of um, changing the whole name. I'm duplicating the existing material and then I'm going to hit OK. Now this is the material that we are working on. The first thing that I want to do is changing the texture. So here on the browse, I'm going to click on it. Then I can uh, add a texture. And then on this window, I'm going to select any types of wooden texture that I would like to import. For example, I would like to import, um, for example, this one. Then I uh, hit open. Then the new texture will be added to embedded library automatically. And these are the two other textures that I added uh, previously. So I'm going to select the imported uh, texture and then I'm going to hit OK. It is important that you always check the original proportion so you don't uh, mess with the uh, pixels and the quality of the um, original textures. Now the uh, ArcCAD, it says that um, this texture has 1200 pixels of the height and uh, 570 pixels by the width which it could apply as 2 meter, as it says on the meter, and a 4 meter 0.64. Then we could apply the rotation, and also we could set up different distribution for repetition of the texture. To see what is the differences, I'm going to put the sample on a 2 by 2, and when I change these methods, you would see that the texture is going to be uh, mirrored horizontally, mirrored uh, vertically, and uh, mirrored horizontally and vertically at the same time. So I'm going to put on the normal way. Then I will go to the first tab that we have here, exposure to light. I'm going to change this color to uh, something more um, orange. So I will add more saturation to it something like that and okay then for the ambient i would like to add the highest number not the hundred because it's gonna break the texture but for example 90 or 95 is very good because you will see the best quality of um, the texture that you're importing then for the diffuse if we uh, go to around zero. Uh, it's like that we desaturate uh, the texture and uh, when we are going to a hundred we will be close to the normal or the original saturation of the texture. Then we could add the shininess which works kind of like the reflection and then we could change the specular of the wooden floor. As you see, when I bring up this number, the shininess, it's like that we see more reflections on the material. And this is peculiar, is the strength of uh, the reflection of the light that we see on the material. So I don't like to see any reflections uh, on the, uh, this material. So uh, I would decrease the amount of uh, shininess and specular. And then I'm satisfied with the result. So I'm going to hit OK. Then I'm going to select the floor that I want to apply the uh, material to it. I'm selecting on the surface and I'm going to select the wooden floor empty 01 that I just created. So I'm going to hit on that. And then we see that uh, the texture that we import to ArchiCAD is showing to us with a good quality. One of the problems that uh, I usually have with making new material is uh, the texture is out of the scale. Now it seems that the parquet here has the good uh, dimensions, the realistic dimensions. But for example, I'm not satisfied with the dimension and it seems um, bigger than what it should look like. So I'm going to go back to uh, the material that I made, surfaces, 
And here I can change uh, this texture scale. So for example, I'm going to put on one and a half and then I hit enter. As you see, the textures becomes smaller. I'm going back to the surface and then I'm going to put it on one. Because we check the original proportion, the height and uh, the width will be changed or reduced together. So you should really be notified to check the original proportion if you want to change the scale and still have the good quality of the texture. I'm going to hit OK. Then it seems that uh, the scale decreased. And that's how you can import a new texture and add it to the existing library of ARCHICAD. If you learned something new today with this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button on this video. And then if this is the first time that you are watching my tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you have more questions about making the materials in ARCHICAD, write it down on the comments. I'm going to read all of your comments and answer them immediately. To finish this tutorial, I would like to change the material for this carpet that I don't like and also maybe a, a one a texture for uh, the fabric of uh, these chairs. So I'm going to do it very um, quickly. imported this uh, texture of the carpet to the ARCHICAD and you see that how did I change the angle of uh, this pattern and how did I uh, fix it to the dimension of the carpet. Even if I would like to fit it exactly uh, to the dimension of the carpet, I should put in these two numbers, which is the width and length of the texture to this surface uh, material uh, right here, uh, 2.26 and um, 2.77 here if I just there you go as you see you can uh, also see the uh, corners or even the frame of uh, this carpet I shrink the object that I have to this dimension and I set the texture to uh, this dimension. So we will see uh, the texture once in object that uh, we have. Also, I should mention that I had to uh, rotate the texture uh, on the surface. If you uh, remember, the rotation is 90 degrees because the original uh, object has a rotation of 90 degrees. So I had to uh, make this rotation to fit the texture to the object.
imported a new texture of the fabric and make the material and apply it to this chair. Also, I can do the same. There you go. Okay, this is it for this tutorial. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.